Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by Into Money Stocks. Today is Thursday, September 18th, 2014. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We're going to start off with the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see that the S&P 500 E-mini futures are trading higher by 5.5 points to 2007 per contract. Now, the futures have come off the highs a little bit, so they were higher. Uh, looks like we just had some economic data that was actually pretty good. It looks like weekly jobless claims declined by 36,000 to 280,000. That's probably one of the better numbers that we've seen in a long, long time. And then on the flip side, we did see um, U.S. housing starts roll over down 14.4% uh, in August. So uh, what do you make of it? What do you say? Really, the bottom line is, will the Fed continue to print easy money? And that's really all the market cares about. So, again, futures are trading higher this morning. We'll see if they can hold up here. I'm not so sure they will today. But nonetheless, we'll see if they do. And we'll see how it plays out. Now, later today, you have this vote going on in Scotland. And we'll find out if Scotland is going to seek independence from Great Britain. That is going to be a big, big news event as well. So, uh, again, there are some things out here that can rattle the markets today. Uh, you do want to pay attention to it. And, um, you know, we'll see where all of this goes. But nonetheless, um, this is what we're looking at this morning. All right, let's get into some stocks here uh, that are making some moves. Pure One Imports, you know the retailer. Stock closed at $15.54 yesterday. They came out with earnings. Stock is trading at $13.83. I'm going to have some levels for this stock in the intraday stock chat room at nine o'clock so if you want those come on over we offer a seven day free trial to that service and you'll get those levels for that trade but nonetheless pier one imports is getting hammered today just one of the many retailers lately that have disappointed wall street when they have released their numbers so again not a great move at all uh... pretty sharp down move and we'll see how this all plays out going forward but we do have levels for pier one today let's take a look at conagra foods cag is the ticker symbol they came out with some earnings as well right now the stock is trading at thirty two dollars and ninety cents so it's a decent little pop here traders should watch for resistance around thirty three thirty five so around thirty three dollars and thirty five cents that's where i think conagra will stall out uh, maybe it gets to 33.50. I wouldn't bank on that, but maybe. So right in that general vicinity, watch for Conagra Foods to stall out there. Good move though, decent little pop, uh, but nothing all that uh, tremendous. Let's take a look here at Rite Aid Corp, which is uh, the drug chain, uh, similar competitor to Walgreens. Uh, right now, Rite Aid is trading at six dollars and ten cents. I believe they came out with numbers as well. The stock closed at six dollars and sixty-four cents yesterday so if you're looking at this one today watch the five dollar and sixty cent level that's where the stock will find some footing so um, again not a pretty picture today for Rite Aid stock is getting hit and um, you're gonna watch five dollars and sixty cents for intraday support on that name next one we're gonna talk about is a biotech stock Vivis is the ticker symbol VVUS Vivis Inc uh, this stock came out with an erectile dysfunction drug it looks like they got an FDA approval. Stock closed at $3.88. It's now trading at $4.46. I see a ton of resistance at $4.60. If it does go a little bit higher than that, watch $4.77. But 460 to 477, that should really be all she writes for uh Vivas today. I don't think the stock's going to have any more juice to get above that level. So Again, watch those resistance levels. First level is $4.60. Second level, $4.77. Both are excellent resistance points. In the news today, or I should say trading down today, is Sony Corp. Remember yesterday, Sony cut their dividend. Uh, stock has really been trading a uh, little bit on the weaker side despite having a summer rally um, still not making new highs from 2013 not even close today the stock is trading at around seventeen dollars and ninety five cents uh, i'm watching the seventeen fifty level for sony today if it gets there i think you could get a little bit of a bounce right now decent little drop but watch the seventeen fifty level that was defended once this morning in the pre-market on very little volume but there is still a fair amount of support at that level. So keep an eye on 1754 Sony Corp. 
Let's take a look at Herman Miller. Ticker symbol is MHLR. So what you're going to see here, up oh, MHLR. Let me just make sure that ticker symbol is correct. MLHR. All right, there we go. Here's Herman Miller. Looks like um, I'm not really sure of the news, but the stock is trading decently higher. Closed at thirty dollars and eighty-seven cents. Stock is now trading at thirty-one eighty-five. Give this one the upside today if it can go higher uh, around thirty-three forty. That's a level where the stock should stall out around thirty-three dollars and forty cents if it can even get up there. I'm not sure that is going to happen, but if it does happen, that's where. Uh, the stock should hit some major resistance. So keep that on the radar today. Let's take a look at UNFI. This is uh, United Nat Natural Foods. I believe they uh, do business with Whole Foods. Right now the stock is trading at $64.64. It closed at $63.61. So it is trading up a little bit. But as you can see here, it had a big, big pop yesterday at the closing bell. Um, and really ran up almost to $70 a share before reverting back down towards um, its breakout level. So again, be a little bit careful with this one. If it does start to rally, I'm showing a lot of resistance around $66.75. If it starts to fall, I see a lot of support around $59.70. So keep both of those levels on your radar. Those are the levels you would trade off of nothing else before that. Now, looking at the gold market today, gold is getting absolutely crushed. Gold futures are down $16.40 to $1,219.50 an ounce. Remember, when the dollar yen goes up, gold goes down. And take a look at dollar yen here. I'm just going to show you a daily chart of this. Just parabolic. I mean, the move is just incredible. Dollar yen is just soaring to the upside. Pretty much a breakout type move for last. You could say really since August, uh, it's just been in a straight up position. Look at this angle, it's probably around 70 degrees, 65 degrees to the upside. That's a tremendous move, parabolic move. But when dollar yen goes up, gold goes down. And you could just take a look at the dollar index. We're going to look at the Z contract. This has had a steady move higher as well. So um, US dollar index goes up, dollar yen goes up, gold goes down. If you see dollar yen start to reverse down, um, then look for gold to catch a bid. Until then, Gold is going to struggle. Right now, the GLD uh, is trading at 117.54. And again, um, it doesn't really have support from what I could see until around 115.75. So again, good sell-off in gold today. Gold futures right now are trading at $1,220 an ounce. Let's go over to the oil market. Light Sweet Crude is trading higher by 17 cents to $93.38 a barrel. Again, nothing great for Light Sweet Crude, but nothing terrible. Let's take a look at the USO this morning. The USO is trading at 3501. That's basically where it closed. Oops, I take that back. That's where it closed yesterday. Right now, it's trading at 3512. So the USO is ticking up a little bit. I don't see a big amount of upside here for oil, so be very, very careful with the oil trade. I think it's just a short-term bounce taking place from an oversold condition. And um, again, oil should have performed much better with all of the geopolitical events surrounding the markets right now, but it has not, and that is not a bullish sign. Uh, we're going to leave it here short and sweet today. Again, uh, come on over to the chat room. Take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. You'll get all of our morning action and uh, you'll see what we're looking at each and every day. With that being said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and we will see you on the charts.